Hey guys, this is uh, this is my little humble little studio, art studio that I have in the basement that I work in. Um, here's some highlights I want to show you. First off, uh, the wallies that you can see. I, I keep, I hang all my paintings a let while I let them dry, uh, and then I can focus on uh, the ones that I'm working on. Uh, we have, for example, hooks on them, and that's how they hang with the little pieces of board they hang with these hooks and then I just hook them hook on to them on the wall like uh, the opposite is on the on the frame and then they just hang uh, they're pretty it's a pretty clever idea it came from uh, an, an artist uh, that I watch on YouTube uh, frequently he, he is uh, an artist in New Zealand he's pretty handy as well he's got a huge wall easel of course and um, He's, uh, his work is outstanding. Um, yeah, so that's a wall easel. I, I love it. I usually do work on, on wood because uh, I could do a finer detail, much more detail on wood. Uh, there's a finer grain to it versus canvas. This is canvas. You can go, it's very loose. You, your work is very loose on canvas. Um, for example, like uh, this one is on wood and I can get a uh, fine detail and now you can see all the really sharp detail this is Milford Sound uh, this is a photo f reference from a friend of that that's been there that lives there uh, she gave me the photo reference and uh, I painted it for them so this one's just about done you can see the foreground is more detailed and saturated in color and uh, sharper and then the background is looser and uh, I add more white. You just basically uh, use uh, the same color and then you just go a little bit um, more, more. you add a little bit more tint to, to give it the illusion of the background and distance, and distance right? Uh, yeah, one of my favorite pieces right now. And then uh, my tiger, I have my tiger that I did. Uh, this one was done in oil. Uh, this one was critiqued by Robert Bateman. I'll show you in a, a few minutes. I did this one for a uh, charity. Um, that one I spent, I, I was able to get a couple couple thousand dollars for kids cancer. Uh, so that was a success. Um, this is my uh, this is my sketchbook. I do have some drawings that I love doing. And I still love doing drawing, traditional drawing on graphite pencil. And uh, this is this is one of the pieces that I have. Uh, I give away a lot of my drawings. <laughs> And um, I draw, I like to draw on big sketchbooks. Uh, this one's my other painting that, uh, that I did of a dog. I like to draw and paint dogs uh, for friends, family and friends. Uh, this is on oil painting and this is on a canvas actually. This was really hard to do because I had to sand this one really down, sand down a lot. Uh, this was done a few years back. And then uh, another highlight is this table actually. This is uh, this is a 1940s. This table is created, made in the 1940s. It still has wheels that you could set up. And then down here, this allows the table to move up and down. This one tilts. I can't do it now because I have a lot of stuff on it. But yeah. And then here's where I keep all my paints and supplies. It's full of, full of paint. Uh, my oil, oil paints and then my watercolors and then my acrylics. All my acrylic paints, lots of tubes. Um, what else? Oh, my lighting. I love I love my lighting setup. Uh, there's a certain lumino on the light, and then I use this filter to diffuse the light, so that the, it's a little uh, the light is in, the lighting's soft in the room, and uh, the, the it tends to distribute the light evenly. So you can see how nice and and um, smooth and and even and soft the, the light is on my canvases so I can sit here I can record uh, do some do my YouTube videos and just work uh, from here uh, I use you can see this Canada arm Canada arm I called it the, the Eddie arm here like I use the monitor to to put reference material on there and I can just use if I'm if I'm here I'll, I'll use my little uh, um, it's not an iPad, just a tablet uh, with a tablet arm. I use that for reference rather than like the old traditional paper. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's where 
I, I put all the supplies where all my canvases are sitting, the ones that I don't use, ones that are already dry and done. Um, a few over there, and that's uh, that's my uh, studio. Um, thanks for letting me take you through this tour.